The cops are here. It's a knock at the door no one ever wants to get. We received a traffic complaint from the OPP mm -hmm. uh, advising of a possible impairment. Uh, you're swerving in and out of lanes. And for Micah Cobert, it came with a request he never expected. Yep. So now I'm here to administer an alcohol screening device. So the 20 year old content creator grabbed his phone and pressed record. So I know I wasn't drinking. I know I, my thing would have been zero anyways. So just embrace the moment and be there and have a good time. You know, that's what I was thinking really. And breathe out. Hard, hard, hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect. And it's going to think for a second. And it says zero. Ah! <laughs> Marking a zero on the breathalyzer, but 1.7 million views on TikTok with hundreds of thousands of comments, many questioning just how common the situation might be. Seeing the comments and seeing how it might be illegal or it's unlawful, whatever it may be, I kind of see that now. So I'm like, okay, if I was drinking before I got home or after I got home, well, what would have happened then? Barry police confirming it's an investigative technique that can take place in certain situations and experts confirming it's legal. You know, the ability of people to just call you it in and have police knock, knock on your door is somewhat scary and, and could be subject to abuse by some who want to make false complaints. Um, but the bottom line is when that happens, if you haven't been drinking, you should be OK um, and let those other issues sort themselves out. As for Cobert, he says staying positive helped him to navigate that 15 minute visit. And while he says he wasn't speeding, it was an informative interaction. He could have been really hostile. I could have been hostile. It could have been really bad, but we both had a great exchange of words and it was it was a good time. Alessandra Carnero, CTV News, Barry.